Oh, it's a beautiful Friday here at Belmont Park. Weather continues to be absolutely gorgeous in this area. We are fast and we are firm. Pick four, late pick four, kicks off in race number six of our nine race card. Seven furlongs in the Widener turf course. You have a two-headed Chad Brown behemoth, as seems to be frequently the case in these turf races. The two beat the benchmark. A solid two-year-old making her first start in almost 11 months. And the six, Ellery Lane, who had trouble in her first start in this country, uh, at Saratoga, she cuts back to one turn and one furlong less as well. They're the horses to beat, but I like the one quality time as a price play in here. A horse that was hurt by a, a, a fairly moderate, relatively speaking, pace on the turf last time out, or a pace that held together. She was shuffled all the way back to last and showed some interest later. It was her first start in almost 14 months since coming over from overseas, and I think seven furlongs is going to help her in this race, and there's a bit of a price of taking a shot with her, but I'll use all three. One, two, six kicks off the late pick four race number seven six and a half furlongs i think there's going to be some pace in this race and i'm going to use three horses in here they're a little off the beaten path i like the nine so noted who finally gets a race is going to have a seriously contentious pace since coming back or start off a layoff for charlie baker i don't know if he can get back to his best form or if he can he can win this race i took him on top i like the four west hills giant i realize he rarely seems to win especially on the dirt to say the least but you know what he ran very well for these connections two back off the claim but that was a mile and a 16th. Seven furlong suits him much better. And the two, Mr. Buff. Mr. Buff comes off a five-and-a-half-month layoff for trainer John Kimmel. was in very good form. If he can get back to that form, he can win here. I'm going to use 249. I went 942 in here in race number seven. The eighth race at six furlongs, there are four major contenders. The three Port McGee who's the speed, the five ancient secret who might be might be better going a little bit shorter, so six furlongs fits her. The six Stormy Victoria, who probably wants longer, and the eight All in Fun, who definitely wants longer now. If you want to be safe, use all four. For me, I want to stick to the sprinters, and I'm going to lean on the three Port McGee and the five Ancient Secret, Ancient Secret, who I don't think like the given the ground last time. They're my main two, but you could use all, all four if you wanted. Three, five, six, eight. Depends how much cover you, coverage you want. Now, for me, the last race is all about the six New Canaan. It Download the Naira Now app, if you haven't already, and watch the replay of New Canaan's last race. It was the sixth race on August 25th. Yeah, she had a trip uh, that's almost hard to believe. She's going to be very, very tough to beat in this race. I could use the 12 Freckle to Freck as an outlier price play to throw in and some backup tickets. Freckle to Freck actually uh, will appreciate the cutback and has a bit of a chance. If anybody else beats New Canaan, I'll be shocked. I'm going to pretty much single New Canaan in the last. A little Freckle to Freck for a price play to throw in somewhere in the play. The late pick four on a beautiful Friday afternoon at Belmont Park.